Hi, my name is Nilima Telugu, working as a senior assistant professor of English from Aditya College of Engineering and Technology. Today I am going to talk about the most frequently asked questions in the interview and the possible ways where a candidate can come with an answer. Now before I talk about uh, the tips and techniques of how to handle certain questions in the interview, I would like to tell you one point very clearly that this telephonic interview will act as a screening process for the interviewer. Yes. Now, the interviewer will make this process a complete filter of a candidate. Now, he screens the candidate in almost all the aspects. In such cases, the candidate must take utmost care in dealing with the, the questions asked by the interviewer. What is taking proper care of giving your answer? The very first point I would like to concentrate on using simple sentence structures. The basic structures are very very important to frame a perfect answer. If you want to talk about the past incident make sure that you are using a past simple sentence structure like I completed my 10th standard, I completed my intermediate. Now, if you want to talk about the future, use the simple future structure, I will do my work in an effective manner. If you want to talk about the present cases, you can use the simple present structure like I am a hard worker, I am a quick learner. Now, if you are able to maintain these simple and correct grammatical structures, when you are giving your answer, it makes a very important effect on the interviewer. Coming to the vocabulary, the usage of vocabulary also plays a major role when you are giving your answer to the interviewer. Now it does not mean that you must use high five words when dealing with a particular answer. Words which are able to make the interviewer understand which are according to the standards of the receiver. Now choose a set of words which are really helpful for you to frame your own answer. Talking about the third important point pronunciation, yes pronunciation plays a major role when you are giving an answer particularly when you are dealing with English language. When you are pronouncing your language you must not use the mother tongue influence which really acts as a barrier when you are dealing with English language. There are many cases where candidates use MTI when they are answering a question like I am from uh, Kakinada and I hail from you know this kind of answering technique will create an impression in the mind of the interviewer that there is a lot of MTI used when you are dealing with language. So make sure that you are avoiding the influence of your mother tongue especially when dealing with English language. Now talking about uh, the fourth point uh, that is the speech rate. I always make my students understand a point that when you want to make the speech better, the average words that you have to use in a speech are uh, 130 to 150 per minute. Now if you are able to manage this kind of word limit per minute, definitely your speech is going to be a rocking one. Now, I always concentrate on one important point that please avoid fillers. There are many cases for the candidates if they are not confident about the answer they go with this fillers like they say mm, uh, like ma'am you know and actually they use a word very commonly suppose if there is a word called actually. Now throughout the answer they use this word actually uh, I am from Kakinada and actually I am pursuing my BTEC. No when, our, when people are using these kind of words they stand as fillers and these kind of fillers will make the interviewer understand that you are not confident about the answer. 
and then finally the thought flow yes when you are giving an answer the thought flow is very important suppose if the interviewer asks you a question on your positive nature then you must make sure that you are giving that answer with a perfect connectivity because if you have used the word in the self introductory part that you are a positive thinker the interviewer will have every chance to ask you a question on what made you to act positive in a particular situation can you please explain it in such cases you must make sure that the thought flow is there in your answer and uh, i would like to tell you a point very clearly that now all these things will be done in a 15 minute period therefore i request all the candidates to design your answer in such a way that you stand as the most impressive candidate to the interviewer yes now this is something that i want to talk about the speech rate now when i talk about the speech rate it is given clearly that if you want to project your image as a calm image or as a formal image or if you accept whatever is being told by the interviewer then you can go with the slow speaking now if you speak too slow it's very clear over there that it gives you a image of dullness laziness and you are not interested to speak on to the interviewer or you are not interested to answer the question or you lack some knowledge to answer that question so if you speak fast it projects a kind of enthusiasm it projects a kind of excitement and if you speak too fast it suggests nervousness and it also tells that you are completely filled with tension anxiety and uh, you are over confident now as a candidate decide what is going to be your speech rate now if you want to create a positive image to the interviewer decide your speech rate whether you want to speak slow too slow fast too fast coming to the most important point of this presentation most frequently asked questions as you all know that these are the most commonly asked questions in an interview where a candidate need to design their own answer questions like tell me something about yourself why do you want to work in our company tell me something about our company what are your strengths what are your weaknesses talk something about wipro and do you want to ask me some questions what are your goals what are your short term goals and what are your long term goals now these are the most common questions which are frequently asked in an interview therefore as an applicant you must make sure that you have your own unique answers to all these questions let me start with the most important question tell me about yourself now the interviewer will ask you this question only to identify how confident you are and how as an applicant you are able to present yourself before the interviewer therefore i believe that you must present yourself in a brief crisp and concise manner let me tell you the time given to answer this question is only 90 seconds and not more than that so within these 90 seconds you must make sure that you are a candidate who stands out of the crowd and uh, i would like to tell you that it is your story now the candidate here is requested to talk about his own story it is your story now if it is your story you will the, become the director you are the script writer you are the producer and what not therefore i want all the candidates to choose a right starting point to be the introduction of your story and i always tell that this is the first and the best question where every interviewer will ask the candidate and the tone you maintain to answer this question will stand as a positive aspect for the rest of the interview and believe if you answer this question properly you will earn a good amount of points 
Therefore, I request or I give you a suggestion that the candidates can go with their self introductory story with three segments namely the introduction, details and the conclusion. Yes, let us go with the first segment of your self introductory story that is the introduction. Normally, when this question is asked by the interviewer, we just go on with this normal introduction. Now, look at the screen where it is very clearly given that, Hi, my name is Neelima. I am currently pursuing my BCom in Aditya Degree College. I completed my 10th in Bhashyam Public School and I completed my intermediate in blah 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 and uh, I, I have uh, uh, two siblings at my home. My father is a farmer, my mother is a homemaker. Well, this will be the normal pace when you answer you know in most of the cases. Then I take it for granted that this type of introduction is really boring to the interviewer because the interviewer wants you to be unique and he does not want you to give the same answer as others are giving him. Therefore, if you design your answer in such a manner like look at this uh, screen, it is given clearly talking about some important details like great learning experience and uh, distribution of work and industry experts. Now, look at the way that how a particular person can frame an introduction to this question. Hi, I am Rishi and I am here as an applicant to the advertised position in your team. I will be finishing my degree in BCom by June of 2020. As a part of my course, I have worked on a project XYZ where it was a great learning experience technically and socially as we had to balance the distribution of work within the team and continually look for guidance from professors and industry experts. Now, if you are framing your introduction in this manner, definitely the interviewer will have a chance to identify particular strengths of your case. Like for example, you talked that you have a great learning experience and uh, you love distributing the work and you love working with a team and uh, you took some guidance from industry experts. So, this is how you can uh, make sure that you prepare your answer for a question called uh, self introduction or tell me about yourself. Now, this will be the first part. Adding to this, the second part self introduction is adding some details. Now, this is the point where you start highlighting your skills and accomplishments or achievements and what not. Now, if you observe the screen, look at this, apart from this, like apart from what? Apart from the previous part that you already mentioned to the interviewer, apart from this, I have represented my college in a state level competition and won a prestigious award. Now, look at this particular statement. Now, by telling this, the interviewer feels that you explored different places like you, you proved that you are a good candidate at state level. I also trained myself on leadership skills. Now, by giving this type of statement, again you are giving the interviewer a kind of impression that you are a good leader. Apart from this, I usually spend my weekends working on social service and now this is an additional uh, skill set that you are providing to the interviewer and I think my greatest strength is my positive attitude even during the most hardest of times. Now, my dear students, now if you observe this kind of details in your self introductory answer, look at the details that you are providing to the interviewer. You represented your college in a state level competition number one, you have good leadership skills and uh, you have uh, participated in social service and you have great positive attitude. Now, here I want to tell a point to the candidates that now if you add these kind of details in your answer, the interviewer will have every chance to stop at a particular point and ask a question on that. Suppose you quoted that uh, your greatest strength is your positive attitude, then the interviewer will stop you at that particular point and he will ask you 
tell me an incident where you really have shown your positive attitude in that case uh, you can go with this kind of example to make the interviewer feel happy look at this during my college project there has been couple of occasions when our idea was not falling in place and the results were negative i had to believe and think positively and keep my team motivated to persist on our idea and finally we got the desired result this is how you took a particular case positively therefore the interviewer will feel very happy of uh, the type of answer you gave him and finally the last part of your tell me about yourself answer that is the conclusion now most of the candidates when they want to complete their answer they will simply tell it that's all madam or uh, it it's it's over madam uh, finished madam etc kind of uh, bland words now i want you to conclude your answer in an effective manner like this this is the point where you really stand out and uh, this is the point where you really give the interviewer a chance to go further look at this statement that's all i can share i'm here looking for an entry level position in your company that can give a great start to my career and i'll be happy to answer any questions that you have look at the wonderful way you concluded your answer so on the whole this will be the complete pack of your whole uh, tell me about yourself answer look at the information which is given by you as a candidate who is unique who is very special and who is not the same as others i am rishi and i am here as an applicant to the advertised position in your team I'll be finishing my degree in BCom by June of 2020. As a part of my course, I worked on a project XYZ where it was a great learning experience technically and socially as we had to balance the distribution of work within the team and continually look for guidance from professors and industry experts. Apart from this, I have represented my college in a state level competition and won a good prize. and uh, i also trained myself on leadership skills apart from this i spend my weekends uh, doing some social service and my greatest strength is my positive attitude and even i'm looking uh, for an entry level position in your company and that's all about me and i'll be happy if you ask me more questions and i'm ready to answer your question now if you come up with this type of answer when the interviewer asks you to talk something about yourself definitely your answer is going to stand as the best answer ever now let us move on to the second question how do you describe yourself now this is something different where you have to describe your qualities you know what is description it is something different from introduction in the previous question you introduced yourself and in this question you have to describe now i want all the candidates to be genuine to be honest and to tell them why you are an interesting person now please don't repeat whatever you have written in the resume and make sure that the manager is looking for someone who is a very good fit for his team you can describe yourself in this type now you can say like this i am a fun loving and happy go lucky girl uh, i am a foodie and a verbose and i just love to be happy in any kind of situation this can be one kind of description about you and the other type you can go like this i switch between four modes always i am matured i am childlike silent and angry and also you can go with this kind of description i get up every time i fall what a wonderful statement that you are giving to the interviewer i get up every time i fall that shows that reflects your positive attitude without losing hope that's a wonderful additional statement statement fighting till the end what a great uh, conclusion you have given to this statement now if a candidate needs to be described if he says you know i get up every moment till the end of my life because i don't want failures in my life i may cry during my struggles but will never give up now if you frame your answer to a question like this again you are going to be one of the best candidates available in this world Now let us look out uh, one more important question why should we hire you now mostly the interviewers will ask you this question only to verify whether you are loving to work in that company or not so you know basically 
you have to focus on your skills and you have to leverage those skills for the position you are applying for and uh, since it is going to be your first job there are num there will be number of problems for a fresher like you to adjust with the environment and there will be many challenges now as a fresher you must give a kind of assurance to the interviewer that you are ready to work in the company by talking about some of your most important skills therefore now if you cannot give an answer like this sir i am just looking for a good opportunity and i just want to prove my talents and skills uh, i can bring success to your company let me stop at this point who as a candidate that you can bring success to the company do you mean that the company is degraded by then and uh, in addition i am hard working an amazing team player and loyal this is why i think uh, i will be a good choice for your company now my dear students if your answer is in this type definitely you are projecting a negative image or an over confident image to the interviewer therefore you can uh, make sure that you design your answer like this sir being a fresher i keep my mind open to every necessary thing that is to be learned for the enhancement of the growth of the organization and self look at the wonderful start you are giving to the interviewer you are telling sir being a fresher i keep my mind open open to what to receive i am at the receiving end i receive whatever i'll be able to learn from this company which will really help me to enhance myself i will grow myself and also will work hard for the enhancement of the company i strongly believe it is more like a mutual benefit and cooperation accord between me and the organization wherein i gain the knowledge and the company gains the reputation with time along with increases in revenue now this is a very very apt answer that you can give to the interviewer when he asks you why should i take you into my company what will i get if i take you to my company so this is what i am so that you can happily extend your welcome uh, to me to work in the company another important question is like why do you want to work with this company now simply you cannot tell that sir uh, actually uh, the bad answers mostly will be in this case like you you cannot say sir i need money and therefore i have chosen your company and you cannot say that sir it's a huge company and uh, you you really promote employees uh, for every 6 months therefore i chose your company and you cannot tell sir college is already over i don't know what to do now therefore i have chosen your company and uh, you also cannot tell sir pre in the previous drive i failed to get an opportunity so this time i am ask i request you to please give me an opportunity so that i can prove myself and uh, uh, you can also not tell that sir all my friends told that wipro is a good company or your company is the best company and therefore i wish to join in your company well as a candidate if your answers are like this definitely you are not going to be in the race because the company wants to know you why do you want to work with them not that you need money or it's a huge company or friends told or come college told or college is over etc therefore how can you design a very good answer for this question look at this I have seen your company consistently listed as one of the top places to work such a wonderful statement you are telling the employer that you are you have seen the company as one of the top places to work I have read employee testimonials and heard of your enthusiasm for encouraging employee growth through education training as vast resources sir i i went to the website and i looked at the employee testimonials and uh, i came to understand that you encourage employees in almost all the areas and you provide them vast resources i already know that engaged employees produce better work and that is evident in the most recent campaign and i also know that your company works innovatively sir as a candidate 
As an applicant, I want to work with an innovative team like yours. Therefore, I request you to give me an opportunity and I also would like to work in your company only for these reasons because I saw your company, I browsed through the internet and I came with these details. Now, if your answer is of this type, definitely you are going to grab the opportunity. The next question which is very important once again, what are your strengths? Normally, when people ask you what are your strengths, now you will come out with a, a bland statement again like I am honest, I am hard worker, I am a quick learner, I am a good leader, I am a team leader. Now what here I want to tell you is if you are adding a story to whatever statement you are giving there to the interviewer, it will be very good for the interviewer to understand what exactly you are. Look at this. Now people say they see me as a dependable and reliable person. I feel obliged to help others. Look at the words you are using in that particular statement. Now what do people say? People say I am, people can depend on me. I am the most reliable. Therefore, people will always come to me for help and I wish to extend my help to people. That is my biggest strength. And uh, whenever they need my ex expertise, they will come to me. I can utilize in my own work, not to let my work suffer. I have now started to maintain a balance. So maintaining a balance, strike a balance, obliged to help others, dependable, reliable. Now, if you use uh, these type of words in this answer, now you are proving that you are the most important person to the company because you have a number of good strengths in you. The other question which again troubles the what are your weaknesses? Now answering this question is very tricky because if suddenly you come out with an answer like I am short tempered, I get angry uh, frequently and uh, I do not have enough patience to work with things. Now if these are your answers definitely you will be caught again. No, the thing you can project your weakness is of two types. No problem if you tell the weakness to the interviewer, but make sure when you are giving out your weakness to the interviewer, make sure that you are also giving a solution of how you worked with that weakness and overcame with that particular weakness. This is one type where you can uh, tell your weakness to the interviewer and the other type is tell your weakness as a positive factor. Suppose look at the first aspect, I told you share weaknesses you have overcome. Now look at this particular weakness. Now here the candidate is trying to tell the employer that he is an introvert, that he is an introvert. Now introvert means those who is not able to expose himself or herself before public. Now he started telling like this. Sir, I was told by many of my friends, colleagues and even some relatives that I am an introvert and I also consider it as my biggest weakness, no problem. Now this is the starting statement that you told one of your weaknesses to the employer that you are an introvert. It never affected my work. Now you are adding a positive answer to it. Sir, though I am an introvert, it did not affect my work any time. As I always in an independent role and always want to meet my deadlines. So one more positive uh, effect you are adding to the statement, sir I am always independent and uh, I love working independently. So four things you mentioned to the interviewer, sir I know I am an introvert, many of my friends and colleagues told me that but it never affected my work and I always love to work independently. So these are the four things you gave and this is your weakness. Now the problem here is how did you work on it? That is the most important aspect that the interviewer want to know. So you can tell like this, I wanted to explore and experience how it is like working in a team and wanted to overcome this introvert nature. Sir, what I tried is, I also wanted to explore things and I wanted to work in a team so that I can also come out of this introvert nature and I did, I started pushing myself. So what did you do? You started pushing yourself to know others by talking to them. So you started working on the problem, you know that you are an introvert but you started working on the 
problem. Now when more people come to meet me and tell that they appreciate the way I have changed myself. Look at the drastic change in you. So what people are coming and telling you that you changed a lot. So this is how I overcame my uh, difficulty sir. I changed myself. I started believing it's actually good to interact with others and, I, and now I love working with him. What a wonderful statement you gave to the interviewer. Though you gave that introvert nature is your weakness, you came out with a solution that you start started working with the problem and you came out with a very good positive nature. This really helps the interviewer feels that you will definitely work on problems though you have certain weaknesses on it. And the second area that you can start working with your weaknesses highlight the positive side of the weakness. Suppose look at this statement. Some of my friends have told me that I am impatient person. One more weakness. Simply you can't tell the interviewer I am impatient. No. You are stating this that some of your friends told that you are very impatient. No problem. As I told you, you told one of your weakness. I also feel that at times because I become very impatient to get the things done as my work becomes my priority. Now you are making your weakness as a positive aspect here. Sir, why am I impatient? Because I want my work to be done on time. I always believe that work is my priority. Therefore, when others are involved in my work project, I often become impatient and want everyone to make that work their priority and deliver work fast. Look at this answer. You are telling that, sir, I am impatient. But why am I impatient? Because I want the work to be done on time. So, if somebody else come and join in my team, I expect those people also to be the same. Now, if they are not doing the work in that prescribed manner, I become impatient. Now, look at this. Now, this type of answer will make the interviewer understand that you are really working on whatever weakness you have. So, if you are designing your answers in this type rather than telling I am short tempered, I do not want to work, I am impatient, uh, no, I am always a social media addict, no, this kind of answers you can never tell to the interviewer. One more important question, what are your goals? What is your short term goal and what is your long term goal? Think of what you want to do in 6 months first or 1 year or less than you know 5 years. This will definitely become your short term goal. Think of what you want to do as a short term goal. Include the company in your plans because this is very important for the company. Simply you can't tell that sir I want to pass my examination. How is it helpful to the company? So when you are giving an answer to the employer to this question, include the company. Begin explaining short term goals first. And then include long term goals but please never ever talk about your salary or how much you are expecting uh, as salary. Now this can be one of the best answers that you can give uh, for the question called uh, talk about your short term and long term goals. Look at this, being a fresher that is a wonderful start. Sir, being a fresher, my short term goal as I already told you start with your short term goal. My short term goal is to reach this position first. What a wonderful statement you are giving to the employer. So my short term goal is I just want to grab an opportunity in your company first. I have to gain knowledge and experience. So the second step is if you give me an opportunity to work in your company, I will grab some experience and knowledge while I was working in the initial years. My long term plan, so you started stating your long term goals are simple and straightforward sir. I want to move through the ranks and perform my duties as a team leader. Now, wonderful additional statements you have added to this particular answer. Sir, as a short term goal, I want to join in your company first and I want to learn some new skills and experience. Basing on that, I want to change my position. Finally, my long term goal is to become a team leader. This is how you are adding the company in your answer. You can, you, can, you cannot simply tell that I want to complete my BCom first, I want to finish off my exams first and then uh, after one year I want to do my PG. No, these cannot be your short term and long term goals when you are answering a question to the employer basically in relation to a company. So short term goals are a priority now and I am working on them to be the best, yes. Sir, presently 
the priority is my short term goal getting a job in your company if you make your answer like this if you develop your answer like this definitely the interviewer will make sure that you are the best candidate again number of times the companies will ask you what is your dream job now dream job again is like you know you cannot simply tell sir i want to become a singer or i want to become an actress or i want to become a cm or a pmc now dream job is like why the interviewer will mainly ask this question is to find out what makes you to join in this company again so you can tell your answer my dream job would allow me to make a positive impact on people every day sir if i can make a positive impact on whatever job i am that is more than enough for me and uh, one more answer you can also tell to them i value teamwork and communication so i would love to work in a job settling where everyone works together sir my dream job is where everybody works together where everybody works in a team that is my dream job sir and my dream job would be a leadership position sir if in a position if i am a leader that will definitely be my dream job so please my dear students design your answers in such a way where it is again projecting some positive characteristic features of yours to the employer let's move on to the next question the final question do you have any questions for me yes here again the interviewer wants you Uh, to project your confidence you cannot simply close the interview like this uh, no 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 i'm sorry sir i don't have any questions for you no problem you can ask the interviewer some questions which are totally professional but not and never personal look at these questions now if you ask these questions to the interviewer he will be very happy to answer this question because all these questions are related to their professional life especially in connection with that particular company how has your journey been so far in this organization definitely the interviewer will come out with their own uh, ideas and uh, actions of, of how they worked in this particular company and how they reached to this position what excites you the most about working Uh, here sir so they will tell you the most exciting factor if they wish to tell you how long does it ideally take a person to prove their caliber here sir how long does it take in the initial 6 months is it okay for me to prove myself so this is these are some of the important questions where you can ask the interviewer rather than asking the interviewer sir what is your salary are you comfortable here is your boss okay is your manager okay will you get a holiday can you sleep in the office no all these questions if you ask the interviewer they are absolutely not considered to be the correct question so make sure if you really want the ask the interviewer some questions you are asking these type of questions therefore i come to the end of my presentation so my dear students make sure that you are aware with all these questions and make sure that you are following the tips and techniques which are given in this presentation make sure you are designing your own answer never ever cut copy paste your answer from any other source if you do that definitely you are going to answer all these questions in the perfect manner and once again i wish you all the very best and i request all the students to design your own answers to become the best of the best thank you